Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on this beautiful Friday. How's everybody doing this morning? Good to see you all on the last day of the pay period. All right. Good to see you all. Good morning. Good to see you, Gene, Susie, Lewis. Good to see you, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. Just still trying to get over a little. Don't mind me having a little. Uh, my 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 son gave me a cold, so I'm still trying to get over it after the past three days. But uh, just got back from Florida late last night. And uh, I was at Trade Station. It was a great, great event. They did a, a mastery course. Uh, I met a lot of new traders, and uh, you know it's amazing. But they all loved uh, talked a lot about the matrix, and uh, they get a lot of them are going to be joining us. So looking forward to seeing them all in here. But in the meantime, I hope everybody here did pretty well. I know there was a couple of good little movers that you guys did. Let's go check them out. Uh, but before we go do that, I just want to you know first up, I want to just remind everyone today is. Friday and what do we know about Fridays uh, usually it's not that busy because a lot of people don't like to come out with news going over the weekend and also most importantly it is the last day of the pay period which means you know the 30th is on Sunday so a lot of companies don't want to like ruffle the feathers and you know make things uh, get themselves in trouble regarding about closing out the month on the profit or, or you know, in the negative. So remember what you guys have to do student-wise. Um, you got your monthly journals that we train you on how to use it. And that's where now you have to start going back and see, are you ready to get to that next level? So it's actually a really nice weekend for you to sit back and analyze and work with your instructors here, go over your journals and see if you're ready to go to that next level um, to start making more money or maybe stay where you are, you know, and that's okay. There's no rush. All right, but uh, but there were a couple of good stocks I heard that did make some big moves yesterday that are spinning spilling it into yesterday. Uh, first of all, the IGC. Let me just bring this up right here. This thing uh, was a pretty funny story, but uh, uh, yesterday when I was doing my event with TradeStation, they didn't. You know, my main thing I was talking about was the matrix, and we saw an iceberg order out here on the offer and how the how it got taken out. And you know, here you explaining it. You know, it just kind of worked in my favor to be there at the right place at the right time. But they saw like a thirty thousand share order getting taken out in IGC. So anyway, I know you guys did really well yesterday on it. The stock has been a great, great, uh, not even just a day trade. It's been a great swing trade for us. And you could see how the stock went from like fifty cents to already at four sixty. Stock is doing great. Which, by the way, this is going to this is going to be back on our watch list today. Another one which was pretty good yesterday was the HCHV. And the uh, only thing about this one, I, I know I had a couple of shakes, not knowing that I wasn't even here. I could just tell by looking at the chart. But uh, she did have a couple of little nasty shakes here, had a couple of nice little pops. But the, the right one, the best one, I think everyone did really well was in the IGC. All right, now going over what's moving this morning. Let's go, let's go right to it. Now, remember, that I didn't find a substantial, you know, about a good quality amount of stocks. It's not like a typical Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. But we, I have a couple of them here, and, you know, we'll see how, how they'll open up. But there are a couple of them that are moving. ALT uh, stocks, you remember, we traded this stock. We did great with it. It went from like $7 to 35 Huge short squeeze coming right back to reality. And uh, you can see that's basically how you can learn. If you go on one of my videos uh, on YouTube, I do talk a little bit about short squeeze, but this was a great short squeeze type of stock. We did really well on it, not more of a swing trade, but she's she's trending down and uh, like really, really trending down. I mean, like down, down like 47%, down to $4. So we'll see how that one's going to uh, work out. And uh, see if there's a bottom fish on that one. I don't know about that. That one's so listen, it could still go to zero. There is a number. Yeah, the IG the, the IGC is back on the watch list, you know, and you can see it just popped. Grant just, just said it just uh, looks very strong. Good call, Grant. And, and you know, Ben said uh Ben same thing. Nice strong stock, you know, it's got great pre-market trading, fun stock to trade. It's starting to become more of a swing trade, not just a day trade. And listen, it's only five dollars stock, right? AM, uh, AMID is another one I found this morning that's moving. She's gapped up a little bit. She's not up a lot, but the stock took a little bit of a big hit from 12 all the way down to the $4. It's coming back a little bit. 
So we'll put this on a watch list. Just be very careful. It's a scalping stock with a five cent spread. One of my old, old, old dear friend, dear girlfriends, Blackberry, one of the last Mohegans that I had. Anyway, I don't know why she's moving, but she's got some good movement today. Yes, they are still public. Some people don't even know that. But yes, uh, Blackberry, it's got some good action in it. Stock's got some pretty vol big volatility. Just be careful on that. But that one we'll to throw on the watch list. AAIO, stock taking a big hit down 16%. It looks like it's testing some support levels back here in April. If that's uh, if it does break it, say Sayonara. But uh, but looks like it's kind of holding there in pre-market. 7 o'clock this morning, came back a little bit. Just remember, guys, we've learned this all the time. Pharmaceutical stocks don't come back. I've got to mention that. So remember, be very, very careful when we find those uh, pharmaceuticals. Poor JC Pennies. Holy cow. Just, I mean, just like this thing is just getting crushed. Just when you thought it was going to make a comeback, it didn't. I mean, $1.65. That's not looking too good. You know, it looks like another another GE, you know, but JC Penny's one of the last, last Mohegans running side by side with I mean what what else JC Penny's I can think of? Sears. You know, not that it's getting really beat up there. Tesla, we're not gonna trade it because we don't need to and risk two hundred and seventy dollars. But obviously most of you probably heard the news. Uh the SEC is starting to investigate uh the owner of the company regarding about the, the tweet that he made regarding about him buying back the stock. So that stock's not doing too well itself. Taking a very big hit right there, but just want to just bring it up because you should know about current events, what's going on every day. ALDX, because sometimes it could affect other stocks. ALDX, down 6%. Stock, we did really well on it. Another, in my opinion, looks like another short squeeze, but now it's backing off over here. It fills in the gap right below 12 and go right back down to 10 to 8. So that the one's going to make the watch list. And AMRN, another spinoff from yesterday. We'll probably just throw that on there because, you know, you could see it. $3 stock all the way to 14 was really, really strong yesterday. Just be careful with the shakes on this one. All right. Uh, I wonder if uh, Nino, uh, NIO, you know, it trades side by side with it. You know, we made a lot of money on this stock, you know, and uh, good thing we got out of it. I think we all sold it right around like what, like, 11 and a half, a lot of us got out, but we made a lot of money on this stock right now. But, uh, you know, yes, the stock is the same industry as Tesla, but as of right now, it's not doing anything. All right, anything I'm missing, guys, I did not call out. Just always remember, a lot of stocks on this list, only two or three of them might move. The rest of them all are garbage. We always find new ones when they open up when the market opens up. A lot of traders like to hold stock back. They maybe want to expose it. There's always something new that, like I said, that will come up on the list. So if you see something, say something. But the but like as of right now, the IGC looks like my uh, looks like the best one out of all of them that's been happening in pre-market and on our swing trades. James just wants me to look at one other stock, the ENPH. Now the ENPH does have a nice little push. It's up a little bit. Buying is okay. You can put it on the watch list. Spread's a little big right now. It's got some good. It's got some good orders on Matrix. It's got resistance levels from yesterday at 520. You know, it's got looks like it's got some room to go. But uh, this one's okay. I'll throw that on there. Not terrible. Neil says the NBEV. Looking at that one right there. I mean, listen, we made a lot of money on New Age Beverage. You know, just I mean, the stock went from two to ten. Starting to back off. It was a huge short squeeze. Just stay away from it, Neil. Let's go find another victim. Let's go find another stock that we can make money with. All right, everybody. Good luck today. Happy trading. If I don't see you this afternoon's meeting, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Make sure you do your journals. Review your monthly journals, not your daily journals, what we trained you to do. See if you're ready to go to the next level. Because remember, September, October, November are always the best months of the year. I think you're going in prime season. October, to me, is my favorite. So we always might even have a nice October crash, getting close to those elections. You could see how nasty it got yesterday, you know, uh, with the Supreme Court. So um, let me tell you, it could, be, it, it could be a very volatile market when we get close to it. All right, everybody. Good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, see, you, uh, see you in the trading room.